So I have let's start today with my maze control, my Arduino and Paul here for the maze runner, which is already in using by hand before. So I have the maze runner controlled by the first Arduino with joystick, the timers to start and stop, the pathway to have the sensors here when you finish the game, and the small buzzer here. You can see that small buzzer. Um, I created this one for the kids, maybe it's an age group from um, five plus or six, because I want them to have fun, especially in the middle of the pandemic. Secondly, I want them to be, you know, exposed to the technology like Arduino, the sensors, the small technology, the start timer or, you know, buzzers to gain their um, interest in both, both physical things, the maze here uh, created by the Breadboard and the little technology they can learn when they growing up, so um it can help them to develop the sense of the movement. Um, you know, instead of moving your hands, um, they will moving own control by technology here joystick, but also help them to understand how the things moving here with the all inside maze. Mm, that's uh, pretty much the uh, the why is it needed for the kids. And now I walk you through the uh, all my uh, prototype and device. I have the first maze here, which you, know, you can see the small ball inside can move inside the maze here, all created by second trunk control by the servos here, all physical things it was created by hand. The first Arduino and the joystick to control them with a small battery pack here. The second Arduino control the sensors, the small buzzer here and the timer to start and stop you can press start to start and stop to start like say you start start the game and you can press to pause and even finish when you finish you can click here to reset them so that's basically my uh, prototype so let's go to see how it works 